Let's do a hands-on exercise in Flume. We will read data from a port and push it to HDFS. Log into CloudX Lab Linux console on two different terminals. On first terminal, we will run Flume agent. And on the second one, we will run a server from which we will read data. Copy Flume configuration from HDFS to the Linux console. It is located at slash data slash flume slash conf on HDFS. Open flume.properties. We have defined configurations for agent A1 in this file. We can define configurations for multiple agents A1, A2, A3 in the same file. While running Flume, we can specify the name of the agent which we want to run on that machine. As you can see, we have specified source type as netcat. Netcat is a good way to quickly create a server which listens on a specified port. Let's change the port number to 44444. While running Flume agent, if the port 5 times 4 is used by any other user, it will throw up an address already in use error. In that case, please change the port to some other number like 44445 or 44446 in Flume configuration file. The sync type is HDFS. Change HDFS sync path to your home directory in HDFS. Also, please note that we are specifying the channel type as memory, which will buffer events in the memory. Bind the source and sync to the channel. Let's run the Flume agent on the first terminal. Please note that we are specifying the agent name as A1. Port 44444 is used by another process. Let's change the port to 4 times 4 and 5 and run the Flume agent again. The port 44445 is also used by another process. Let's change the port to 44443. Run the agent again and this time it is started successfully. Now let's produce some data. Go to second terminal and type and see localhost 44443. Type in some data and see if it gets pushed to HDFS in the sync path. Log in to Hue and check the path in the file browser. Here, we can see data in the binary format.